All right, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist and I do coloring tutorials here on YouTube. Uh, in this video, this is the third in a series that I'm calling How Not to Color Comics. And I cover a lot of the things that I see from a lot of beginners, things that are very common problems, uh, things that I see all the time as a coloring instructor, all things that I used to do at some point, which is uh, why I think I recognize them so easily these days. So. Uh, in the video today, I'm going to be talking about um, rendering, I don't know how to put this, I'll have to show you, but uh, rendering everything equally instead of thinking about focal points, thinking about storytelling, and this will make a lot more sense once I get started. And uh, if, if you like this sort of video today, be sure to check the description. I have a link to my coloring course there. So I really quickly, roughly brushed in uh, this uh, just some basic colors on this uh, Spider-Man sketch from Max Dunbar. So and so, let's just say, for example, that I want to color Spider-Man here. What I see a lot of times is, is from beginners and people that are they're just getting started is they'll go get you know a a lighter color. I just pick a good highlight color and. Uh, let's see, let me just get, trying to check what brush to use, we'll use this one. So, and they'll go into, you know, every muscle, every area of the body, and let's say that, you know, they see the lights coming from the top here uh, in the in the drawing, so they're, they're make good decisions, but they're gonna, they're gonna paint this blue on every muscle the exact same way, from the same exact angle, okay? You know, even where it might not make sense, um, from you know, you know, under and shadow areas and all sorts of different things, and so they'll color every single area the same exact way. And this doesn't look awful. I mean, in certain lighting situations, you know, the, you know uh, this can uh, happen, and especially just in regular panels. But um, let's say this was a cover, and we wanted to you know draw attention to the important elements, which here is. You know Spider-Man's head, uh, but I'll, I'll continue this with this uh, real quick. Though. Let me go ahead and get this red here and shift it a little orange. And again, I'm just gonna kind of color this in. Again, same same way on all the muscles. Okay, we're, we're on the top, you know, near the top ish of of all of these muscles, all the way down. And again, it's not awful, um, but it's doing nothing from a storytelling standpoint from uh, from a focal point standpoint you know and that's really what coloring is about and I talk about that a lot on the channel but if this is one of the first videos you watch you know coloring is not about just staying in the lines and and rendering things um, pretty it's about drawing the reader's eye around to where you want it to go and if this was a cover for example you know, you want to draw more attention to like Spider-Man's head or if he was punching a guy, it'd be like the other guy, you know, but you'd want to not render everything equally. There are things you can do to sort of trick the eye into looking into certain places. And so just as an example, I'm going to turn this off. And again, this I'm kind of doing a rudimentary example of this, and I'm going to give you guys a really good example of this uh, right after this. So bear with me here. Let's say again, lighting's from the top. So I'm gonna put these really bright yellow lights. Again, this is really, really rough, but uh, near the top. And I'm not gonna worry as much about what's going on down here. Like I might do very little rendering down here on his on his hands. Actually, hands are pretty important too, but um, just to have a strong focal, focal point, I'm really gonna focus my lighting up here at the top, okay? And again, this is a really, really rough example of this. And I'll even go in, we'll put in some some brighter colors and some yellows to, you know, really, really draw your eye toward the front. Now, obviously, if this was an actual panel, you wouldn't have all this white around either. And so it would stick out even more. But, um, you know, even, even zoomed way out, you know, it's still really obvious where the focal point on this panel would be, um, you know, if that were the case. So that's my ugly fast example. I'm going to give you guys a better example here. Uh, this is not me, by the way. This is Joe Mad and Marta Gracia, who's one of my absolute favorite colors. And it's a perfect example. It's actually why I decided to do this video, is it's such a great example of creating a strong focal point uh, on a cover. Um, and it's just one, one character. It's one character with an explosion in the background, 
And people think, well, how does how does storytelling apply here? It's not a story. It's just a guy. Well, there is a story, even with a color. And it's more of a you think more about focal points instead of storytelling. But it's, I, I kind of use them interchangeably. But you can kind of see what he did here. If he had done this the way that I described initially, then he would have taken with this again. This is not the correct way. You know, he would have had that same highlight color down here. You know, and I know some of you guys right now are going, you know what, I, I do this, I do exactly what he's talking about. I know you do because I used to do it too and a lot of people do this. You can see what he did. He made the brightest parts of the page the most important, right there at Cap's head, basically. Now his costume is the same color, you know, his this blue is in, if you looked at this, if he stood next to you, this blue color is actually the same blue that you would see here. But he kept the rendering a little more simple here. It's just a couple of, you know, quick gradients and cuts. But, but look at all the detail that he added up here and all this contrast. Um, that's the other thing. It's not just brightness, but also contrast. A lot of detail in his hand up here, you know, right next to his head. All these little wrinkles and, and folds in the skin. It's all drawing your attention. Um, even the the rendering on... Let me get let me get my tool again here. Even the rendering on the shield, you know, it's not an accident that it's right here next to his head. Okay, everything about this image is saying, check this out right here. Look at this. Think about this, even panel to panel uh, within a page. Um, now, obviously, it's not always going to be a strong single point focus, but uh, many panels it is. You know, there's something on every panel. If there's two people talking. Uh, or, or only one person in the panel is talking to someone else, or they're the most important person in that panel. Make sure that that's where the focus is drawn. So he's using he's using value. So if I turn this on, you know the the brightest parts of the image are still right right here. So even in black and white, it's really obvious where your focal point is. So when you're working, whether it's like I said, whether it's page to page on a panel, whether it's a cover. You know, always think of your of your storytelling and your rendering from that. Uh, I mean, that's your baseline. That's where you start. Is uh, what am I trying to do here? Where am I trying to get my reader to look? Where is my focus? Start there. So, I uh, realize this is a short video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you enjoyed this, I have about 10 hours of, of coloring tutorials in my uh, course, which there's a link below with a discount, actually, uh, coupon code there. So, but uh, thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.